Shakur Stevenson, and Gervonta Davis. Prepare to enter negotiations for a fight with one another. And in the lead in, the grandfather and trainer of Shakur Stevenson has something to say about Gervonta Davis's resume and and compares it to that of Shakur Stevenson. And I'm here to correct the record because my man, Mr. Moses, you're tripping. Let's talk about that in this video. Devin and Shakur. Look at that first uh, 20 fight. I think it was about 16 or 18. It was the first time Tank fought somebody with a winning record. Okay? I mean, if you look at it, I think Tank has somewhere his opponents has something like maybe 20, 30 some wins with 150 some losses. No, Devin has 150 left. I think Tank's opponents have over 230 something losses. Okay? If you look at Shakur record, Shakur has never to this here day fought anyone with a losing record. All right, welcome back to the channel. As you have heard, Wally Moses, in an interview with YSM Sports Media, made some statements about Gervonta Davis comparing him to Shakur Stevenson and saying that his resume is not up to snuff. Only problem is much of what he said was not factually accurate. Now, before I get into the details of it, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And if you're a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel, thank you so much for your continued support. It really makes a very, very big difference to the channel. <clears throat> thank you specifically to Matty Yole, king of the super thanks. Brother, I see you all the time, man. Thank you so much for your support. But let's get into this. Wally Moses said some things about Gervonta Davis and Devin Haney said that their records were something like in his their first 20 fights. He said that Gervonta Davis fought his first winning fighter, the guy with the winning record for the first time at about 20 fights <clears throat> and then said that in those fights, the losing records for the fighters were something like 100, 250 Losses for the people on Gervonta Davis's record and 150 losses for the competitors of Devin Haney prior to Devin Haney stepping up in competition and fighting for championships. Well, we have to correct the record on that. But not only we're going to correct the record, we're also going to be fair and get the general gist of what Wally Moses was trying to say, even though his numbers were off. But let's correct a couple of the numbers that are off. In the first, first of all, Gervonta Davis's first world championship fight, I do believe was around his 16th fight. So he fought Jose Pedraza, who was an undefeated champion, at 16 fights. So clearly he didn't wait for 20. But in the first 16 fights, before he fought for a world champion, Gervonta Davis had in his first 20 fights, I counted the losses for the first 20 fights, including Jose Pedraza, who did not have a loss. And you have a record, you have over 20 fights. The fighters combined had a 115 uh, losses for Gervonta Davis. However, as far as him fighting fighters with losing records, uh, Gervonta had only fought four fighters in his career with a losing record. Four. Out of the all of the opponents that Gervonta Davis has had, and I do not believe Gervonta is as of yet has had a rematch. So of the 30 fights he's had, he's only had four fighters on his record earlier in his fight in his career that had losing records. To correct the record on on uh, Shakur on Devin Haney, though, 
Devin Haney actually had a record 155 losses for his for the for his competitors for the first 20 fights. And I do believe he only fought six guys with losing records. And he had never had in his first 20 fights a rematch. So six guys with losing records. Now, the gist, though, of what Wally Moses says in the comparison of the resumes is that Shakur Stevenson has never fought anybody with a losing record. And that is true. Not one time in his 20 fights, in the first 20 fights of his career, has Shakur Stevenson fought anybody with a losing record. Now, what's the difference? And what is the point that Wally Moses is trying to make? Wally is trying to say, hey, Shakur has got a better resume because he's never fought anybody with a losing record. And he clearly says that his his the type of guys that Shakur fought, the type of guy that Shakur fought prepares him for these big fights more so than the people that Gervonta Davis had fought. Here's the problem. There's a reason why Shakur Stevenson has never fought anybody with a losing record versus somebody like Gervonta and somebody like Devin. Quiz on what that is. The reason that that is is because of who Shakur Stevenson signed with and the fact that Shakur Stevenson was fighting on undercards for Oscar Valdez in his very first fight when Oscar Valdez fought Miguel Mariaga, and he fought on the undercard of Terrence Crawford versus um, Diaz, Juan Diaz. Is it Juan Day? No, that's Juan Baby Bull Diaz. Uh, Felix Diaz in his second fight. So the fact that Shakur Stevenson was a silver medalist and signed with a big promoter had something to do with the fact that he did not have he didn't have to fight those type of guys. He didn't have to fight those type of guys because top rank was paying more money to the to guys with slightly better records to fight him earlier in his career to put him in position to get a championship shot in something like his what was it? In his 14th, 13th, 14th fight or something like that. He was fact fact he was fast tracked because he was an Olympic silver medalist. Where if you look at Gervonta Davis, Gervonta Davis had 10 professional professional fights before he was really signed with a promoter. It was only after his 10th fight that he signed with Floyd Mayweather Jr. and was able to get better fights. But with by his 16th fight, though, he was fighting Jose Pedraza. De, uh, Devin Haney is a similar situation where Devin Haney turned pro in Mexico. And he turned pro in Mexico at like, what was he, 17 years old. So he ran a bunch of fights up in Mexico against guys with bad records. That's what you get when you move over there and, and you're fighting on your own promotions and fights that you are organizing yourself for Devin Haney promotions. You fight who you can get. Now, over the course of the fights that they have had to date, though, Gervonta Davis it's fought very good competition, man. Gervonta Davis hasn't fought anybody with the losing record in a with a loss on their record. I think who was the last guy that he fought with a loss on his record? Frank Martin was undefe undefeated. Um, Ryan Garcia was undefeated. Hector Luis Garcia, I do believe he was undefeated. Roley was undefeated. I think Isak Cruz might have had one loss early early in his career, but he's one off. He's won championship fights against a bunch of undefeated fighters. So. Nah, I think Wally Moses' comparison is off a little bit here. I don't think you can really say anything about the quality of these guys' resumes relative to each other by pointing out the number of fighters that they've had with losing records, but definitely the numbers that he gave are way off. Uh, for Gervonta to say that he thought he had 250 losses and it's only 115, come on, man, you jacked the man's score up by 135. <laughs> By 135 losses. Now he they did have fights against guys with like records of with 28 losses. Gervonta Davis, I think, maybe have done that, like fought a guy with double digits losses a couple times. But you know, I just say those those are stays busy fights. And also, it doesn't really say anything about who you beat. You know, I always say this: like the fact it doesn't say anything about Gervonta developing that he beat a guy with a, that he knocked out a guy with double digit losses. Because he knocked out the guy with double digit losses. It's not like he had a hard time and he lost. Now, there are some people that say Devin may be a different circumstance because Devin is rumored to have bought, paid, 
or organized and and, and um, orchestrated the removal of a loss off of his record. And then later on, he did get beat up by Ryan Garcia. But anyway, it is what it is. Just wanted to correct the record on that. But I do get Wally Moses's point. And I certainly hope that these guys make that fight. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.